Hi everybody, it's me Waddles. So over the past week or so, I've received at this point like a hundred DMs telling me to check out this simple mod right here. It's called the Wither Storm mod. I mean, you can't argue with the people. You guys would never lead me into a dangerous and dark situation, <laughs> right? So today, that's exactly what we're gonna do. Like, subscribe, and let's, let's go. go. And so for our journey today, I figured I will bring our trusty dog. Our journey is going to begin inside of this mod right over there, that house. Now this is gonna be a house that you'll be able to find generating in your world at zero, zero with this mod. So we got a new house generating in our world consistently every time at zero, zero. And not only is this the house, but this free real estate practically, the house is like literally abandoned. If you check all this house, it's an interesting build, lots of cool blocks, and then the door. The door is completely boarded up. If we just, uh, you know, go ahead and make ourselves at home, walk right in here. Ooh, it's nice. It's spacious. Okay, it's not spacious, and it's not exactly nice. But, I mean, it's got the bookshelves, right? And we've got some loot inside of the house, which is pretty cool. A written book right here with a wait for it. Uh, <laughs> nothing. I, I guess we're supposed to write the story. Aw. That's it. That's it for the inside of the house, the new structure. Now, Pamela, follow me, right? Off of this way. If we go up on the roof of the structure, which clearly, like, we're meant to. We have a ladder very obviously leading us up this way. We find uh, this. What is this? An unsanctioned renovation, an expansion. Hmm, interesting. And it looks really dangerous, too. So we climb up it, and sure enough, at the top of this thing, somebody was doing... Well, somebody was doing something, but didn't finish. So let's just go ahead and finish the job off for him. We grab the wither skull, put it right there, and the wither storm. The wither, that's not normal. No, no, it's not normal. That's not normal. So we're gonna wanna get away from this thing really, really quick, because of course, it's going to explode. And as you can hear, it's getting more and more terrifying. Pamela, Pamela, come over here, come over here. So we go ahead and grab a spyglass, and we can see this thing is not only, it's not only holding a command block, but it's also listening to, to music. So we go ahead and give this thing a little bit of time and eventually it's gonna start flashing and it's on the loose and it's dangerous and I kind of didn't gear up for this, so... Oh, Pamela, no! So, little did I know, I just unleashed basically the worst boss of all time in the world of Minecraft. If you take a look at this wither closely, look at what's happening. Not only is it destroying everything, like the normal wither does, but it's also consuming blocks. Like, the, literally, all of the blocks in the world are eventually going to get sucked up into this thing. Stopping this thing, it's not going to be an easy task. If we stand here and just try and take this thing out, look at the health bar of this boss. Like, obviously the bow, obviously this bow right there is not like the hottest bow in the world. We could do a little bit better with the enchantments but it's regening like pretty much constantly now typically in a survival world you will want to get away from this thing like take it out or something like that but for this experiment today we're gonna need to leave this thing living so um excuse me excuse me i'm building here i my guy my guy i'm building here hold on hold on all right so let's go ahead and just maybe crank that music down a little bit and take a look at this thing again now i don't know if you remember what it looked like before but it's definitely changing it's growing Taking a look at this thing from a ways away, you can see that this thing is not only growing, but it's also, like, building or something. It almost looks like a portal behind the thing, but no, it's not actually a portal. This is The Storm, an infamous Kanye West leak off of the album Yandi that was slated to release in 2019, but never did. Over in a completely different world where times are good and happy and a whole lot calm, we can check this out a little bit more. So the structure, we kind of already checked that thing out. It's gonna be the same, as far as I'm aware, every single time. Alongside a demonic boss that is going to be nearly impossible to defeat in survival Minecraft, we've got a lot of new items. The Wither Storm mod adds all of these things to the game right here. As we can see, there are a lot of brand new purple blocks. Check these things out. Now, if we look closely, a lot of these purple blocks, they're actually pretty reminiscent of blocks that we already have in the game. But like, with a twist. We've got a brand new set of tools added to the game in this mod as well. Now, these tools are insanely overpowered. Check this out. Command block shovel. If I'm mine, you notice that hop bar right there. Of course, I'm getting dirt, but that tool... <laughs> that tool is taking zero durability at all. So all of these tools will literally never break. They lose no durability at all. Now, that's insane. But how you get these things... It's like a late game. You're gonna have to basically defeat parts of that boss to get an enchanted command block book. Defeat one of the boss things, get one of these magical books, go over to his smithing table with a diamond tool, and boom, there you go. You have a command block tool. Now, these command block tools, they're pretty cool. Look at it. Me and Pam, we're like connoisseurs of the small things in life. And small things in life, the particles, it literally couldn't get any smaller than this. I, I love it. It's so simple, but it's just so nice. The attention to detail, it is chef's kiss right here. It's great. 
Speaking of a chef's the perfect segue Pam come on come on go ahead and follow me right over this way to the kitchen a Wonderful kitchen that I've built for myself here with ingredients inside of this chest golden apple stew a brand new type of stew Added to the game with this mod now the wither rose good news It's expensive and it's also replaceable you could replace the wither rose with any of these new withered items those are my friends with perhaps psychotic tendencies. Good news. We have new tier of explosives in this mod as well. Now, these new explosives are going to be expensive to craft. First things first, we're going to go over to the crafting table with this enchanted book-looking thing. So this is going to be very expensive in survival, but check this out. 4 TNT, 1 enchanted book, 4 gunpowder, and we get super TNT. We take super TNT, put it back into the crafting table with some other ingredients, and here we go. The magical, the wonderful, the F-bomb. Oh yeah, and uh, check out the hot bar or the inventory right here. The F bomb after you craft this thing, it's in your inventory and it's counting down. If you don't place this thing and get away from it within like 600 seconds, then you're done. You're gone. So we could go ahead and take this bomb and place it down on the ground and then just wait and eventually it'll ignite itself. Or we could go ahead and put the bomb down and light the bomb and then get away from this thing. It's really, really dangerous and it will explode. The F bomb when igniting will slowly, essentially distort your world. It makes it into like a 3d thing and then it goes off really loud noise when that bomb goes off and a sizable crater sizable crater to say the least uh my world my wonderful world it's uh it's it's ruined <laughs> with that world ruined let's go ahead and go back and check up on our friend see how he's doing ah uh, yes our good friend the wither storm is definitely storming so this guy has been growing for a little while now if we get up close to the wither storm we're gonna see essentially like a t-rex skull with one eye a cyclops t-rex that's what it's grown into at this point now nothing is safe from this thing as this thing grows bigger and bigger and bigger it will not only continue to suck up mobs but any block in the world that is in the way it will be consumed as well but uh, maybe just maybe you set this thing free in your world for with a rose farm uh-huh yeah that's a great idea maybe my best one yet and set it free for wither roses mm -hmm, definitely worth it as the wither storm consumes blocks it will grow and grow and grow the wither storm essentially is a pokemon except it's a pokemon with seven evolutions it's gonna consume blocks slowly 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 until it it grows let's go ahead and wait for a while can you feed the wither storm you ask curiously why yes you can you can definitely feed the wither storm I don't know if it really speeds up the growth, but I mean, hey, looks hungry to me, right? This isn't a bad idea at all. Just feed it a bunch of blocks. Yeah, <laughs> why not? While the wither storm is continuing to grow, shooting at this thing is essentially pointless. It's going to continue to grow itself and constantly refill it. You won't be able to take it out. Give the wither storm enough time, let it consume enough blocks, and boom, eventually it grows some tentacles. Uh, this is great. Definitely not nightmare fuel at all. But uh, what if I told you? <laughs> what if I told you it gets worse? What if I told you this was only the beginning? Your extra inquisitive self may be wondering about the house that this monster originally came from. It's home. Does it care about its house? No, it is fine with completely deconstructing the house too. But you're right. I think it's about time for an upgrade. How about a good old power five bow? And while we're at it, we'll throw flame on it too. Look at this thing. It's a literal monster. Like just watching this thing fly around and rip up my world. Like, <laughs> I don't know. It's fascinating. I kind of almost just, just want to let it keep doing its thing. Anyways, the bow. With power 5 and flame, at this point, it literally does nothing. This is pointless. We should have tried this earlier, but we didn't. So, we're stuck. We just gotta let it grow. Eventually, you give this thing enough time, and oh boy, it'll evolve. <laughs> it'll evolve into this wonderful monstrosity right here. I love it. I hate it, and it's terrifying. I, I actually just hate it. For you to get a grasp of how large this thing is, check this out on the ground in survival, looking up at it. Um, sizable. At least a, a little bit sizable. So, at this point, my trusty bow, it's trash. It, it's literally garbage. I might as well throw this into a cactus. Oh yeah, and by the way, you see all those purple beams? Yeah, those are actually suction beams. If you walk into it, it'll pull you up. Don't feel like getting pulled up into the demonic storm today? Eh, no big deal. Don't walk into the beam, and if you do, shoot the mouth that the beam's coming from. Hopefully it'll stop then. Oh yeah, and when it pulls you, if you do get dropped, you fall. And when you fall... <laughs> so, sent all the way back to world spawn, and... That's wonderful. That that's nice. The wither storm is over there, and somehow, somehow, this thing is all knowing. Get it's traveling back to world spawn. It's coming back to world spawn to end to me. <laughs> it's, it's delightful, really delightful.
terrifying, but to be honest, we haven't seen anything yet. This is the phase when the monster actually gets really, really interesting. So, up in the sky, with three heads, five tentacles, pulling blocks in, big chunks now, really, really huge chunks. Well, it's up in the air in this phase, asserting complete and total dominance, the mobs on the ground, they're not safe either. Any mobs that are existing on the ground that don't get picked up by the beam, they're gonna get sick. We have a wither sickness. Uh, wither sickness is essentially, um... I guess it's essentially like a new disease or something that's in your world. Wither sickness is not good. Slowly things like creepers, zombies, skeletons, and actually yourself will slowly wither away. That's where this golden stew comes in. If I wanted to be the hero of the day and rescue this creeper while it's withering, all I would need to do is give it a golden apple stew, and it'd be healed. And then it would just go back to blowing me up. This must be stage 7 though, like the final evolution, right? Haha, <laughs> wrong. This is stage 4. Now we need to wait even more time for stage 5 to occur. That's where things get really interesting and actually start to involve you. It's beautiful, really. A Van Gogh, a masterpiece. It's mesmerizing to watch, really. It truly really is. <laughs> Could do this all day long. One hour later. You know how it goes. The head, once it grows, it's time to go. Like, run. And then keep running. Forever. And ever. And ever. Because this is the terrible part. So check this thing out. It's gotten even bigger since we last talked about it. It's massive now. Tentacles all over the place and the head. It is truly, well, it's ginormous now. It's essentially become this meme. Great. A little bit of good news for you, the wither storm takes a long time to build up to this point, so if you accidentally summoned it in or something, don't know how it was an accident, but if somehow this thing has popped into your world, you've got time to run or prepare or whatever. Also look at me, I'm turning pink, that's not good. The pink stuff on me, it's the wither sickness, which is actually lowering my max health. To fix it, I need to eat a golden apple stew. During the enormous swollen head stage of the Wither Storm, it will now begin to spawn enemies down on the ground, and these enemies are essentially a mini boss. This thing is called the Wither Symbiont. Essentially, it's a zombie, or it was a zombie, turned giant, turned Steve, turned uh, tentacles. More tentacles all over the place. And this is it. This is the key to defeating the storm. If you want to get rid of the storm from your world, which, um, yeah, you're probably going to want to get rid of it. Look what it's done to my world spot over here. If your dream is to stop the storm, then it's this thing. You're going to need to take out the Wither Symbiont. To take out the Wither Symbiont, the weak spot on its back, that pink spot, hit it with something right there. With only 60 health, it shouldn't be too difficult to take out the Wither Symbiont so long as you don't get sucked up into the actual storm. Once you get rid of the symbiont, a very special and important item drops. This book. Hi, yes, I remember you. Take the book to a crafting table and craft a super TNT. Then take the super TNT and craft it into the F-bomb, and then light the F-bomb somewhere underneath the wither storm, and then run. Get out of the place, because bad things are gonna happen now. So check this out, with the F-bomb approximately underneath the storm, the storm has noticed it, and it's gonna kind of start to pick it up, that's perfect, the world is slowly distorting, and if the F-bomb, well, the F-bomb's eventually gonna go off in the storm, oh, the poor storm, the storm's not exactly gonna like it. Hey, you, finally awake. We've done it, we made it, after a little bit of persistence, a long bit of waiting, like literally 40 minutes or more, the storm is gone, I've freed my world. I'm free to have saved my world. Surely it's fine to be on this thing in survival, right? It's surely it's fine for me to walk up to the command block and take the oh, oh, you you mean to you mean to tell me the storm's not over? Oh, uh, oh, okay, it continues. Back over at World Spawn now, the storm has now somehow gotten even larger than before. It just continues to grow and grow and grow. Our sweet storm friend that we will now name Bertha is now in stage six. In stage six, the head creepy things, well, that's great. They're basically becoming their own storm. The thing is just growing and growing and growing. Now that beautiful Bertha is back and bigger than ever, what do you do? Well, um, well, of course, look out on the ground. The symbionts will continue to spawn. When you see one, take it out. When you take it out, you'll get another one of those really cool books. It would be a really good idea to take that book over to a smithing table and make one of the cool tools. And then it's back to waiting for us. Believe it or not, this storm, it will actually get even bigger. Then when it gets bigger, there'll be a portal in the middle of its head. Then you need to go to the portal. Then you need to take this thing out for once and for all. Huh? Wait, what's that, Pamela? A cliffhanger? You mean to say that we're not gonna actually finish everything today? What? You mean to say that the inside of the storm is almost like a whole dimension of its own? Miniature, but a dimension nonetheless? You mean to say that the real boss fight hasn't even started? 
<laughs> what? Yeah, so the Wither Storm mod? Clearly, it's a pretty big and impressive mod. Super well made. If you'd like to see more of the amazing Wither Storm mod, including the inside of this demonic beast, then leave a like. In part two, we'll be literally diving into the inner depths of this mob, talk a little bit more about the symbiont, and more. To wrap up today's video, I would like to, of course, send a huge shout out to No Name Crackers 2, the creator of this mod. This mod is seriously, like, this is one of the best mods that I've ever seen. Big thank you to all of you for sending this mod that was very cool of you. And also, shout out to Crimson Gaming. Crimson Gaming made, like, the perfect informative showcase on this mod. It was great. So, this has been me, your boy Waddles, and uh, until next time, uh, until part two, go and, um, well, run. run. Just, Just keep, keep running, running, and running, and running. Goodbye, everyone.